All right, back on the farm again this morning with Jasmine. Got my 22 long rifle here. I'm gonna see if I can get a rabbit or two with it, or just a rabbit, because I have a feeling this is gonna be hard to do. See if we can get it done. not like the iron sights on this thing at all. It is the last day of the season for both rabbits and squirrels here. Gonna try our luck at trying to get some of them. Last week while I was doing some trapping on the farm I tried to get a rabbit with a uh, 22 rifle and I only had one shot at one and I missed. Four times. But that's not that surprising. It's not super easy to hit a rabbit with a 22 rifle while it's on the run. But I got the shotgun with me today so hopefully we have a little more luck today. I don't know about that one. Swimming. Where's Jess? This is the trail he took right here. Oh yeah, you smell him. I don't know where he went though. Over here, Jazz. Hey, dead. Over here, Jazz. Come. Not even the same one. It's not even wet. Where's the bunny? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right, jump. Come here. I know. Stop chewing them. Ugh. Slime all over him. There you go. Nice one. Cool. Did I shoot its tail off? It's missing a tail. Yeah, this is, isn't the same one that we just shot at.
leave them right there for right now. See if another one pops out. Well, only ended up with one rabbit today. Didn't see much for rabbits except for the, in the beginning there. I think we only saw two, the one that ended up going into water that we lost and then this guy here. But we checked the remainder of the farm in areas that we could actually shoot and I never saw a single other rabbit. I think their numbers are just down because it's later in the season and I think the ones that are still alive are just the smarter ones. Just got the whole thing figured out and they probably just all ran off before I even got to them. And because it was so windy out too, I would have never been able to hear them if they did run off from a distance. And with the wind, it was also impossible to find any squirrels. But just gonna get this rabbit cleaned up and time to start cooking. All right, so the first step will be to turn the stove top onto medium, medium high. Then I'll get out my pan, put some oil in the pan. I'm gonna be using raccoon grease in this case. Once it's all melted down, I'm just gonna take all the pieces of rabbit and just brown them on both sides. Before flipping them over, I'm just going to add some salt and pepper onto one of the sides. Only leaving it on each side for about a minute or two. Flip it over to the other side and do the same on that. While that's going, grease up a pan. And once the pieces are done, I'm just going to lay them into the pan. Time to turn the oven on to 375 degrees. And while that's heating up, I'm going to add some white wine into the bottom of the pan. I'd say about three quarters of a cup's worth, maybe a little more. Add some garlic powder. along with some dried rosemary over the top. Then I'm just gonna cover it up with foil. And put it into the oven for about an hour and a half. After an hour and a half, just take it out of the oven. And it should be done. All right, got one of the rabbit loins and part of the thigh. Let's see how this is. It's a little dry, probably should have added some water or something into it. But you definitely get a hint of the white wine in there. Don't taste much of the rosemary though. See if the thigh is any different. Nope, it tastes the same. Well, it was a pretty easy recipe to make and it tastes pretty good. I. Uh, just wish it wasn't quite as dry as it is. But next time I do it, I'll just add some water into the pan with the wine, and that should make it less dry. But that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.